Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today we've got three Celtic players I think we should sign in January. Three players Celtic should sign in January, not three Celtic players. But before I get into this, could we smash five likes and I'll be running a giveaway when we get 500 subs of just a £5 gift card. It's not much, but I don't earn much. So yeah, let's get into the video. Right, guys, number one is a position we've been needing to improve for a wee while. Not really... And a, a big improvement in anything, but a position we need backup for more backup. There's only two of them, and that position is striker. Um, basically at the moment, we've only got Dembele and Griffiths. Uh, we've also got Edward, but I'm talking more practical players that are, are signed. So we've got Griffiths and Dembele, um, who the two of them get injured quite a lot. So just for backup, the player I think we should sign is Louis Moult. But fans would disagree with my decision for this, as people did with the video three player Celtic should sell. But this is just my opinion and things I've seen on sites, uh, websites about Celtic, Facebook pages that Louis Moult, we should sign them. But it's up to you guys, your opinion, you can comment your opinions. In my opinion, he would be a good signing for goals. Uh, we could just bring in Rodgers if it would if it was really going to happen. If he was interested in him, he'd probably be watching him. Uh, two weeks, it's like two weeks and t yesterday or something, till the cup final. Yeah, we'll probably be watching him on the cup final. Uh, to see if he likes him, I think Brendan Rodgers would like him. Uh, as an attacking player at Celtic. So yeah, let's get into the second position, which I'll get onto now. So, the next player is Corey Smith, or Corey Smith, I'm not quite sure how you say it, but he's a right back, which is a position that we have needed for quite a while now. I don't think there's much wrong with Michael Lost. I think it's his more attacking side of the game. I've even watched it with Rangers. Um, and other teams in the league, mainly Rangers because I see this pulled up quite a lot. James Tavernier um, run down the line a lot and cross it in, and that's what Celtic don't have on the right side. They've got it on the left side with Tierney, and then when Miller's been playing a few times, he's done it. Uh, but Christian Gamboa, I don't, I don't know, something about him that's just not right, I don't think, for the Celtic team. And Mikael Lustig, he's a phenomenal defender. He's good at defending, but he's a bit slow uh, for running back and attacking, as I just said about attacking. But so, and he's get he's got to the age and he's about thirty one now, uh, where he should probably just leave in the next year or two, um, because he has really got some competition when. He's that age and will be looking to bring someone new. So the player I thought of was Corey Smith. Um, plays down in the English league, I think. And he looks good. He can also play midfield, which I don't think we're really concerned about at the moment. Um, yeah, he looks like a decent player. Uh, yeah, very young. So yeah, let's go on to the next player. Right, how do I say this? Me. Kuhnelum. I think that's how you say it. He's a left back and centre back. I think main position is centre back. Um, yeah, we've been needing more players for that position due to Simunovic and Sviachenko getting injured quite um, regularly recently. Um, so I would say this this guy would be a good player for our team. Um, I don't know much about him, but he sounds like a guy, if he can play centre-back and left-back, he sounds like he's fast. Um, and he can obviously, must be able to defend if he plays that position. So, yeah, he might be, hopefully he's really strong because I don't feel like we've got that many physical players at the back because a lot of time you see Scott Brown having to come into the back to tackle players, shove them off the ball. Um, and 
that is kind of what I'm needing anyway, a centre back, as I said, with injuries recently uh, from certain players. So, yeah, ever since Neil Lennon left, I feel like we've had issues at the back. We've done well with Van Dyke and Denier. Then, sadly, they departed. Uh, one was only on loan. And, yeah, basically, since Lennon and Dyla left, there has been a bit of a defensive dilemma. So, yeah, that has been the video, guys. It is short, um, but that is just three positions I would improve in January. Three players I'd bring in um, for the positions. Another position I would like to replace is left mid, but I'm not too sure who I would replace there. So yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, could you please like? I said I target the start of the video for five likes. Um, yeah, I hope you did enjoy. If you have, subscribe also. Uh, we're getting so close to 500 and there will be a £5 gift card giveaway for that. Or if you want batteries for an Xbox controller, I don't mind giving them away as well. Like maybe two batteries. But yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, stick around for more videos over the week. There will be daily uploads. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.